screen. Can you guys hear me clearly? Everybody's audio is working? Yeah. Yep. Incredible. We are going to get started. Jeremy Perkins in the house here, guys. Welcome to your Monday morning bird crew, guys. Let's get after it today. The guest in the show, baby. All right, guys, we muted everybody so that you guys can uh, focus solely on my voice and, and Jeremy's movements here, okay? Please keep your mics muted until the end of the workout, then we can chat back and forth and see how you guys all enjoyed it today. We've got some members joining us on Facebook Live as well. Based on the audio and everything, guys, we're thinking that we may get rid of uh, Facebook Live and just switch over uh, to Zoom. All of our workouts will still be filmed though in real time and we'll be posting our workouts every single day at about 12.30 or 1 p.m. so that members at this live workouts can still access these workouts through our YouTube channel. It's a private YouTube channel that only our members have access to. Ladies and gentlemen, for today's workout, if you guys took a look at the email, you're going to notice you don't need very much equipment. Today's workout, you only need a black band a heavy weight and a medium single weight. That is all you need for today's workout. Um, your bodies as well will help. We are going to get started, guys. Starting off here, Jimmy Perkins is loading up his black band around his quadriceps, about three to four inches above his knees. We've got six movements, 40 seconds per movement, three times through. First move, Jerry's going to quickly give you guys a five to 10 second demonstration here, guys. We've got black band, side steps, side to side, back and forth. First move. Second move, jogging in place on the spot. Nice light jog to start off today's warm up, guys. Third move, we've got peg hops. Hands on the ground, hopping side to side, back and forth. Hips are nice and high up in the air. We've got squats, fourth move, and body weight squats coming your way. Head and chest is up, guys. Arms are out for a counter balance. Knees are pressing up nice and wide. Fifth move, single leg knee bridges. Jeremy's going to lay flat on his back here. One heel planted to the ground, one leg straight up in the air. Big, enormous hip drive. Hips are going to kiss the ground and explode right back up. 20 seconds in, guys, we're going to switch sides. Last but not least, Jeremy's going to be in a high plank position. Hips going to slightly be up, elevated in the air. Both feet hopping up to one side at a time. Notice Jeremy's hopping both feet, both knees, one elbow, then the other, alternating sides. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get started today. Here we go. 40 seconds up on the clock. Black band, side steps, quarter squat position. In three, two, one. Timer is on, guys. Let's get after it today. 40 seconds on, 10 seconds transition in between each of our movements. Sure, I'm muted here. Please get me a water bottle that's behind my coat. All right, Jeremy. Jeremy's working hard here, guys. As are you at home. We can see everybody in full view. Looking really good. Head and chest stays up. You can see about hip width apart, you guys, as you're marching. So narrow stance, arms are driving across your body. Beautiful, Jeremy. Really solid form, guys. Really solid form. Five more seconds left on the timer. Switching to jogging on the spot. Second movement of six coming your way. We got jogging on the spot. Head and chest are up. Let's get after it, guys. Game on. We are rocking. You don't mind switching to a gallery view shirt so we can see everybody better. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, look at you hard workers. Jogging on the spot, starting off your Monday morning in the best way possible. 20 seconds left. Nice study warm up today, guys. Working within our own athletic capabilities. Remember, you do not need to keep up with Jeremy. Jeremy is an advanced level participant. We don't expect you to keep up with him unless you are too an advanced member. Heading to high pops, downward dog position. Hands are on the ground, hips are elevated up in the air, feet are side by side. We're going to be hopping side to side, back and forth. Remember you guys, we want to keep the weight through the palms of our hands. Our eyes are looking straight down at the floor. Hips are staying up nice and high in the air. Balls your feet side to side, high hops is your third movement of six. That's it, Sammy Harris. Good, Michaela. Good video angles, guys. Really good video angles. 
Amazing. Crystal, keep it up now. Come on, sister. We've got a 10 second push of our plate pumps, and then we're heading to body weight squats. You, Jeremy. Jeremy, please try to keep your clothes on, okay? All right, you guys, we are going to head into body weight squats on the squat, knee or shoulder apart, arms are out for a counterbalance. Initiate the squat by sending the hips right back. Timer is on. Let's get it, guys. Amazing friend, you're joining us just in the nick of time, buddy. You are lucky. It's going to be 20 burpees, though, Fred. All right, squats on the spot. Good. Really activated for the quads, glutes, and hands, guys. Keep your chest up nice and proud. My Jeremy is here. Amazing. You guys are looking really solid. Keep up the incredible work at the guys. This is your first round of three. Pacing it on out. Take it one movement at a time. Deep body weight squats. Challenging yourself, guys. Single leg glute bridges. Lay flat on your back. Head and shoulders are resting on the floor. One heel is driving down to the ground, other leg is up. The leg that's elevated, guys, make sure that it's so straight that you're squeezing your quad. I want that leg that's straight, that quad to be activated and squeezed. Jeremy's going to exhale his breath as he drives his hips up. About six more seconds there, proactive. Got no switch legs, okay, Mandy? Three seconds there, guys. Vicky, switch legs, halfway, 20 seconds to go. Body weight warm up, guys. Just get the body activated, get the body moving, increase our muscle tissue temperature. Here we go. Eight seconds left, guys. Look at everybody working hard. Last exercise, guys. High plank position. Your hips can slightly be elevated up in the air. We've got side to side oblique leg ups. Both feet jumping up inside the same elbow. You know this one, Thistle. You know this one. Okay, high plank, oblique leg ups. The oblique leg ups, guys, because it's a slight twist to the side as you jump the legs up, bending at the knees, walking up the arms, absorbing into it. Jeremy's so doing a fabulous job demonstrating for us today. And not only is he demonstrating, he's getting his own work done today, too, which is amazing for him. Kill two birds with one stone. About 10 seconds left here, Vic. That's it, Michaela. You guys can certainly modify by stepping your legs up. You do not have to jump with your beginners. You can step the left foot up, then the right foot up, and then switch. Guys, 30 seconds. Everybody at home, grab a quick sip of water, and we are going to embark on round two of three. Amazing, Lisa. Looking good, Don. Allison Brock. Merry Christmas. <laughs> We hope you all had a fabulous Christmas with your family. Time to kick some butt this week. All right, guys, black band side steps. I know you all have the black bands around your quads right now, pumping those arms, moving laterally, side to side, back and forth. Try out those skills, guys. Really important that we maintain those feet nice and square to one another. Awesome journey. Could be really solid, everybody. Pumping, pumping, pumping through those arms. Digging deep into it. Jeremy is breathing. I don't know if you can hear him, because I'm the one with the blank on, but he is breathing. Nice and done. Five more seconds, guys. We're going to pick it up to a run on the spot. Second move, instead of jogging, guys, we're going to pick this up to a more cadence run. Knees are a little bit higher, a little bit faster. Keep the tension on the bend. Facebook members, Zoom members, let's get going here. Second round. Driving up those arms. Driving up those knees. Okay, staying crunched in your core. Nice upright body. Allowing the oxygen to flow through our lungs here. Awesome. Good to see you, Beth. Is that your little girl beside you? She's not so little anymore. <laughs> Amazing. High hops, third movement coming up next. Eight more seconds there, Melissa Proof. Come on. Is that you in your new basement, Melissa? It looks amazing. <clears throat> All right, guys, heading into our high hops. Downward dog position, a lot of weight on your hands, guys. Of course, Jeremy's hips are nice and high in the air. Feet are together, guys. Gentle hop, side to side. If you don't like to hop, 
You can step to the left, step to the right as your modifier. Excellent form, Jeremy. Kill it. I'm gonna go Jeremy again. Try to take off the shirt for us. Always. I don't know what he's trying to do here. It's my gift to you. <laughs> That's a good gift. We appreciate that. 20 seconds on the timer there, guys. Incredible. Look at Dylan Goddard crushing it. Whew. Beautiful, guys. Excellent, excellent. You guys are really executing perfectly here. Well done. All right, Sarah Brennan, taking this up a notch, guys. Instead of regular squats, Sarah, we're going to double pulse bodyweight squats. Two pulses on the bottom of the squat, standing tall, exploding hips through. Watch Jeremy six times. They go down, they explode, they stand up, and they shoot through. Nice. Squeezing those butt cheeks at the top. Get as much muscular activation as we physically can. Tara, Devin, hope you guys are following along as well. I assume you guys have perfect form, but there's only one way to tell. Turn on the camera. <laughs> Alright guys, 10 second push. Exercise number four coming to an end. That's it team. Alright guys, simulate new fitness everybody. Let's land on back there, Jenny. Beauty Marley. Single leg glutes bridges coming your way. All right, Christy, now timer is on, sister. Head and shoulders are resting on the ground. We really want to think about not only driving our heel down into the ground, but think about pulling your heel towards your body. Don't try to drag your heel through the ground as you drive those hips up. That's really going to turn the hands halfway through the hands. 20 second push, everybody. That is so well done. Well done, guys. Allison Brock looking good. Mikhail and Gray, beautiful Christmas tree, I must say. Let's have a competition, see if you can keep it up the longest. <laughs> All right, guys. Going into our oblique leg ups to wrap up our second of three rounds. Jeremy, how's the meeting so far? You okay? All right. Awesome. Oblique leg ups. Hips can be slightly elevated, guys. You don't need to hold a perfect high plank. Jeremy can show you guys a modified version of an oblique uh, leg up by just stepping up one at a time. Reduce the impact, guys. <sighs> we froze for a second there. We're back on the hook. <laughs> All right, guys, let's keep pushing. 15 seconds there for active members. Got over 22 members joining us here this morning. Five seconds to go, guys. Keep digging in. All right, proactive. Let's grab another drink of water, just 30 seconds to let that breath come down. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, taking in warm oxygen by breathing in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, controlling the breathing. That is your second round, proactive. Let's go into our third and final round. We are going to amp up that intensity. Instead of our black band side steps, we are going to do side shuffles, guys. Two side shuffles, tap, tap, one, two, tap, one, two, tap, one, two, tap. Here it is, guys. Amazing. Jeremy's digging through his heels. If you guys don't have room for side shuffles, you can definitely do your side steps as a modifier. Head and chest up, guys. Squat down and tap back down. Let's get up those heart rates now. Beauty. Our jogging on the spot will turn into a sprint or a run, run, run on the spot. Fast run. Beautiful. Amazing, Jeremy. Looking really solid, man. Ladies and gentlemen, third movement coming your way. Second movement coming your way, sorry. Jogging on the spot. If you guys are beginners, if you guys are more advanced, let's sprint. Let's get those knees up. Let's drive those arms. Let's get this done. Yeah, we really intensely increase. I can see it across the board. Everybody's working in unison to one another. There you go. There you go, Jerry. Jerry's done an excellent job of maintaining the tension of that black band. He has not slipped and slid up his legs or anything. He's really maintained that tension. 15 seconds, steady breaths, guys. Third movement, going into pipe hops. Beautiful. 
With our pipe hops, we are going to slow down the pipe hops and go for a little bit more air, a little bit more power. Okay, guys, pipe position, slowing things down. Pipe hops, not fast, slow. A little bit more power, a little bit more explosive, side to side. Really slow. Take your time, guys. Bend through the knees. Okay, if you feel like you're putting a dent in the ground, let's try to slow down even further. Bend the knees even more. Take your time. Third and final round of today's warm up, guys. Oh, yes, sir. There we go. These are your pipe hops, third interval of six. We are flying through this warm up today. Look out. Five seconds, everybody. All the way to the end, Crystal. Thank you, guys. We got squats. Okay, we did double pulse squats last round. We're going to do triple pulse squats with a little hop. Triple pulse squats with a little hop. This is the smallest, tiniest hop I've ever seen. Three pulses on the bottom. One little hop. Quads are going to be on fire. Good boy, Jeremy. Quads are going to get a nice rest after this as we lay our backs and perform our glute bridges. Very good. For our glute bridges this third round, both heels will be on the ground. Not a boy, Jeremy. See, guys, even our advanced members here, like Jeremy, still feeling it. All right, guys, let's lay flat your back. This time, both heels are going to be on the ground. Okay, both heels are planted. Explode up, guys. Squeeze. Pull it for a second at the top, come back down. Kiss the little hips to the floor, drop back up. That's it, Vicky. Amazing. The Harrisons. <laughs> Love it. Shannon, is that you in the background, Shannon? Give me a thumbs up if you're okay. If you can still breathe. Okay, she's all right. <laughs> Hallelujah, she's all right. Very nice. This is where Jeremy's really working on breathing, regaining his breath as you guys are at home, looking slowly for activation. All right, guys. Only play out to wrap up your warm up today before our dynamic stretch. High plank, full plates coming up simultaneously, guys, to either side. See if you can get your knees to your elbows. That's the goal. Land soft. You don't have to jump. You can step. Incredible. Look at these guys. Woo! Killer work ethic. That's it, Sarah Brand. Lock it out those arms. Come on, Lisa. All the way to the finish line, right, guys. Whew. Ten more seconds left. Well done, there, Jeremy. What a finish! <laughs> Proactive members, now is your long rest, long water break period. Take it. You guys all deserve it. That is three warm-up rounds, warm-up rounds. You guys are sweating. Does anybody need a caution when wet sign? I can definitely deliver one of those to you guys at home. I don't want anybody slipping and sliding on your floors. I know a lot of you are leaking fluids from your faces right now. As is Jerry. Jerry, that's new turf there. Be careful, okay? <laughs> Just work on breathing there, guys. We're going to go into nice, gentle stretches now. Beauty. Everybody, stand your feet shoulder width apart. You can drop your hands down to either side of your body or keep your hands up over top of your ears. We're going to be dropping your hands down, dropping back and forth. Gentle side bends. Trying to come one inch lower. Every rep goes slow. Inhale as you stand up, exhale as you pull down to the side, opening up that lower lumbar spine. That's it, you guys. We've got hip drive outs, guys, opposite arm to opposite leg. So right arm, left knee, driving up, and then back to forward. Okay, out to the side, down, 
and back to the front. Back and forth. Slow and steady. Stay on one side, guys, just for now. Work on the 90 degree open, set the foot down, back up to the side, close the leg, set it down. Keep going, Jared. One more, guys. All right, let's switch, guys. Now we're left arm, driving up with our right knee. Out to the side, tap, back out in front, tap it down. Big hip openers. You guys are gonna do this for your glute, maybe your low back, your hip flexors. Awesome, guys. <laughs> What's Vicky's kid's name? Is that you, Aria? Is that you having a good time at home with Vicky, with uh -huh. Mama? <laughs> Aria's like, what? He's speaking to me. <laughs> All right, you guys, legs are nice and wide apart now. Hips are pressing back. Deep hinge position. Hands on the floor. We're going to be rocking forwards and backwards. Gently putting weight into our hands. Stretching out our wrists, and as we lean back, we're pressing our hips back to really lengthen through the hamstrings. Opening up those hips and hands. Walk the hands over to the right, guys. Hold it. Looks good. Awesome. Walk the hands over to the left. Hold it. Walk hands back to center. Walk hands as far back behind the heels as you can. Try to reach something behind you, whether it's a water bottle or weight, maybe your partner's leg, you can reach for it. That's it, guys. From here, we're gonna walk yourself up into a high plank position. Jerry's gonna be on all fours, feet and arms, shoulder width apart. Jerry's gonna set his left foot directly up beside his left hand. Notice Jeremy here, guys, his left heel planted really firmly on the ground. He's going to be pulsing up and down, driving his right hip flexor down towards the ground. With every pulse, he's taking over relaxing, getting more space through his hip area. <clears throat> wow, amazing, Jeremy. Incredible. Jeremy's going to reach his left arm out to the side, reaching up toward the sky. Notice this nice straight body line, looking up at his left hand. As he exhales, his left elbow is going to curl underneath his body. He's going to try to make physical ground contact with that left elbow. Twice more, guys. Three reach and rotates per side. His face looks still on. Don't want to use it again. No, we don't make sense. Amazing. Step from left leg back, guys, back to high plate. Right foot comes out inside the right hand. Gentle pulsing, left hip flexor down towards the ground. There's no rush, guys. This is your own stretch. Enjoy it. Oh boy. This is where you guys get to regain all that oxygen and energy. Jeremy's going to reach and rotate three times on his right side. Inhale that right arm way up. Exhale that right elbow close to the ground. Amazing. Looks good, Jerry. Sitting back. Walking your hands halfway up to your toes, back to a downward dog position. From here, Jeremy's going to kick his right heel straight up to the sky. He's going to bend through his right knee and curl his right leg over to the left hand side of his body. Both hands stay planted on the ground. Jeremy's going to feel the stretch all through his side body, opening up through his ribs, his hip, his quads, and a little bit of hamstring action as well. Set down the right leg, guys, and then switch to the left. Left heels kick it up, left knee bends, and curls over top to the right hand side. It's looking really good, everybody. Once more per side, and then we will walk our hands all the way up to our toes. Once more per side, and then we'll walk our hands up to our toes. Sit, stay in a forward fold there. Awesome. Way to go, Ann. That's it, guys. All right, guys. Slowly working on standing up. Awesome. Really taking your time. 
Last stretch, it's a groin stretch, guys. We're all over lateral movements. We're going to go into a side lunge position. Feet are going to be wider than shoulder width apart. Toes are going to be squared up. Your right knee is going to take a deep bend into it. Left leg is perfectly straight. Ten slow pulses towards the right leg. With every pulse, you're putting weight into your heels. The right knee is bending further and further. Left leg is perfectly straight. Great form, Jerry. Once we've done 10 pulses, we're going to switch legs. You need some uh, lubricants for those joints there? I think so. <laughs> Jerry's freaking and cracking. <laughs> Perfectly normal. Perfectly normal. Don't be alarmed. Very nice. Devin, Sarah, hope you guys are enjoying the workout. I hope to see your lovely faces soon. All right, guys, let's all grab a nice sip of water. We're going to prepare ourselves for the workout. And okay? our workout of the day consists of four supersets, one minute per move, twice through. Superset number one. You guys are going to need your mini bands. Back on your quads. You're welcome. First movement is a banding movement. Second movement is a, just a body weight banding movement as well. Okay? First move, on for a minute. We've got mini band lateral leg lifts. Not just any lateral leg lifts, pulsing. Jeremy's going to find the height of his left leg when he feels the most amount of tension through his glutes. Chest is up nice and high, and he's going to pulse at 30 seconds per side. Second move, we're going to go into four backwards bear crawls. So, guys, you don't need much space. More choppy bear crawls. Not about speed, we want to be bobbing, pulsing, absorbing the weight down into the floor. Look at his knees, pulsing, walking forwards, walking backwards on for a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Standing now, we've got lateral leg lift pulses in five seconds. Everybody set? Everybody ready? In five. In four. Three, Jeez. two, one. Tower is on. Feel my head. Oh, it's crappy. I see. I see. Either yeah or no. No, no. Yeah. Right. Just on the <clears throat> Slow and steady, guys. If you guys are really feeling the effects from the weekend because of overindulgement, slow things down. <laughs> Jenny made a comment this morning, does everybody have their Ralph buckets? Thanks. Holy jeez. Slow things down. We don't need anybody wind up in their bathroom today. I hope you guys switch legs. As the timer stated, we are over the halfway point. Oh, that's fun. Thanks. We're going to be heading into our forward oh. backwards bear curls coming up next in the next 10 seconds, guys. Keep the tension, guys. It's all about activation. It's all about squeezing the core, keeping your center of gravity right over the top of that foot. All right, guys, 15 seconds to get set up. Make sure you're going to clear your area. Forward, backwards, bear crawls, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get after it. Make it look pretty. All right, guys, let's get it. Forward, backwards, bear crawls. Amazing. Keeping those knees nice and low to the ground. I want you guys bobbing up and down like Jeremy Perkins is. Okay, really absorbing that energy into the floor. Arms are directly underneath the shoulders. If you only have 10 feet, work with your 10 feet. If you've got three feet, you're going three feet forward, three feet back. Let's get it, guys. Awesome. Pressing those knees out. Keeping the tension of the black bands. Breathe. You can do this, Christina. Almost there, Aaron. 20 second push. Oh. Almost there, Journey. Almost there, Blackie. Five seconds of four Blackers bear curls. Breathe in, breathe in. Standing on up, catching your breath. I'm not going to give you quite 30 seconds of the timer staying there. You guys a little less than that. Last round here, guys, coming your way. Five seconds in five. Lateral leg, good pulse smell. Four, three, two, 
one time was up. Second and final round of this superset. So as you guys notice, each superset done twice through, one minute per movement, okay? Push it. Find that sweet spot. I know you all know where that is. Find that sweet spot where you can really get that mind muscle activation and build those glutes up. That is looking tremendous, guys. 30 seconds, which legs are gym. Well done. Knees can be slightly bent. Your leg doesn't need to be perfectly locked out. Sometimes it helps. Other members prefer a slight bend in the knee. And think about driving more heel out to the side, not toe. We're not driving toes up and out. We're driving heels out to the side. Five seconds. Get up for our bear crawls again at home. All right, girls. Forward, backwards, bear crawls. Kiss those laterally lifts goodbye and we are done with those ones. Awesome, Jerry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, team. Gently crawling forwards and backwards. Remember, pulsing up and down. Locking out those arms. Wow, that's, that's a big bear in there, guys. That's a big grizzly bear. Holy jeez, look at this guy go. Killing it, Jeremy. Oh, very impressed with your form there, Greg. Greg and Michaela, father-daughter team at home. Awesome. Got the Harrises, Sam and Shannon working hard. Mother-daughter duo. 20 seconds to the end there, guys. Keep driving, come on. Jeremy's taking a little a breather, but then he's right back to it. There's no extended rest during the interval. It's a five to 10 second at the most. Breathe, and then get back to it. Three seconds, guys. Push on three seconds, Sam. Amazing, guys. Catch your breath, ladies and gentlemen. We are headed to our second superset of the day. Second superset. We are going to need a medium to heavy single dumbbell. Medium to heavy single dumbbell. We've got five slow, heavy dumbbell squats paired with five big, fast, explosive body weight squats. On for a minute, at your own pace. Five slow heavy, five body weight explosive squat jumps. So Jeremy will be using a large heavy weight goblet squats, guys. Palms are up underneath the dumbbell. Very good. Jeremy will show you one full rep here. We'll do five when the time comes. After five body weight squats, or uh, weighted squats, setting down the dumbbell. Now five explosive, massive jump squats, just like this. Second move, we've got heavy glute bridges. Laying flat on your back, both heels on the ground, weight stacked right over top of the hips. Head is resting, shoulder blades are back. Exploding hips to sky. Heavy, explosive glute bridges. Thank you very much, Jeremy. All right, you guys. Catch your breaths. Let's all grab our heavy weights. Remember, five slow, heavy squats paired with five body weight, explosive squat jumps. Take your time. Three. We ready? Two. One. Timer is on, guys. Let's get after it. Five slow, heavy squats. Gently setting down your dumbbell. Taking a step back, exploding. Five explosive, big squat jumps. Power off that floor. Driving those knees out. If you can reach that ceiling, go and touch it. Get up there. We're flying. That's it, Jer. Jeremy's on his next round here. Back to five slow, heavy squats. And then five huge jump squats, guys. Nice form, Jeremy. Jeremy will have just enough time to wrap up his last body weight set here. 10 seconds on the timer, guys. Push it right to the end. Well done, Mel. Good man. All right, guys. Leg, leg 
fire in the back, you guys, you've got heavy glute ridges coming your way. That was good. <laughs> this is where I want all of you to control your breath. Two seconds into the nose, two seconds out of the mouth. Really slow. Okay, guys? Regain your oxygen. Focus on activation. Doing a glute bridge is not just about rapidly firing your hips up to the sky. It's about tucking your hips up under your glutes and squeezing. Think about the glute bridge as more of a pelvic tilt rather than just driving the hips straight up to the sky. More of a pelvic tilt, guys. Very good. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that one. That timer is pumped. Here we go. Very good, guys. We got 15 more seconds left on the timer. Woo. Breathe, guys. Slow. Heavy glute bridges. Yeah, Beth, we're still down. Can you guys see the timer? Okay. Three seconds, Elian. And time. Ladies and gentlemen, we're standing on up. We're getting ready. We give you guys some time of breath. Three. Have a little breath. Have a little sip of water. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's all grab our big, heavy dumbbells and get ready for round two. Eight seconds. Here we go, Jared. Remember, guys. Try to aim for three counts down, one count up for your heavy squats. Here we go. One, two, three down, one count up. One, two, three counts down, one count up. Take your time. These are slow and heavy, guys. Awesome. Once you guys are done, your five deep, slow, heavy squats, we're going to explode. Jeremy's going to reach up. He's going to touch that leg up. Ah, poor Jeremy. Five big, explosive squat jumps. Reaching for the moon. That's it, Jeremy. Oh, buddy. All right, Marley, come on. Try to hit that head against your ceiling. Could be possible. Looking good, Mandy. See you in your med ball there. That's all you need, sister. Woo! Amazing. Keep that chest up nice and high, Leanne. Really strong, guys. Really strong. Okay, team. Three, four, and two. Another round of heavy loose bridges. Here we go. Weights right over top of the hip bones. See it, guys. There you go, Sarah Brennan. Building that booty. Strong. Incredible. Jeremy's still working with you guys, as are you at home. Yes. If you can't keep up with Jeremy, at least try to continue to move uh, at your own pace. 30 seconds, Jerry's modifying down to a 50 pound dumbbell. If you gotta do this in at home, that's perfectly okay. Notice Jerry's head rested on the floor. Shoulder blades on his back, tilting his pelvis up. Timing his exhale with his hip thrust. Right to the end, guys, let's go. Right to the end, everybody. There it is. Well done. James would grab some water to catch his breath. Moving on to your third superset, Sandy Harris. If you guys remember, I know a lot of you have. My pants are coming off. A lot of you are quick to rip those bands off. All right, so for your third superset, we've got a single leg RDL, hence why we need one medium dumbbell or a med ball or you can even use a red band with this. Single leg RDL paired with bur a burpee with four mini jumps, okay? So, I will demonstrate Jeremy's working on catching his breath. Medium weight, okay? Option one, hang on the weight with two hands. Option two, single hand. If you're doing a single hand, it's opposite front arm to opposite front leg. So, if my left leg is planted, my right arm has the weight. From here, your shoulder blades are pinned back, opening up the chest. 
As I drop my chest, my back right leg elevates at the same time, and my core brings the weight closer to my butt. Do not reach with your arm. If you reach with your arm, that's when you lose balance. I'm not reaching with my arm. My core, my leg is slowly lowering the weight down. Standing up, weight into your hip crease. Slowly hinging down. Slow up, weight into your hip crease, okay? Option one is with the weight. Option two, go without the weight. You can also use two hands with one single dumbbell. Choice is yours, okay? Your next movement, ladies and gentlemen, you've got one burpee, four mini jumps. So, chest to ground burpee, popping up, each shoulder apart, and four, three, two, one, hop. Chest to ground burpee, and four, three, two, one, hops. Get that energy, guys. Here we go. Single leg, RDLs, coming your way in five. In four, in three, two, one. Timer is on, guys. Here it is. Minute up on the timer. One single leg RDLs. Think about keeping the back really flat. If you get your chest below your ribs, that's when the back starts to curl. Open up the chest. Keep your shoulder blades pinned back and slowly hinge down. Stay on one side for 30 seconds if you guys can. We're switching legs in three, two, one, halfway. Take your time. Single leg, RDL. Mind body connection, guys. Right? Think about that hamstring extending through the movement as you guys stand tall. It's all about balance, not about speed, guys. Looks good, Mandy. Five seconds there, everybody. All right, guys, clear your workout area. One, chest to ground burpee, four, mini hops. Press those feet into the floor. Balls are feet, knees are bent. Here we go. Three, two, one, timer's on. One, chest to ground burpee, pop up, four little mini jumps. Let's go, guys. One chest down, burpee, four little mini jumps. Let's push. I don't like it. Come on. You guys are looking really good at home. Christina, Marlon, Jen, look at this. Woo! You guys are killing it. All out intensity here, go on. Come on. One chest down, burpee, four mini jumps. Push it in. Come on. Take those feet in, man. That's it, Mandy. I'm with you guys. I'm with you. What do you guys got? Crystal killing it. Ooh. Come on, our New Year starts now, guys. Good push, Allison Brock. 15 seconds to the end, Eliane. Let's go. One or two more chest rail burpees. Who can do it? Eight seconds. See if you guys can do one more rep. Three, two, one. Oh. Rest. Guys, amazing. Back to a slow, controlled, single leg RDL. If you've got to modify to using two hands, do it. If you've got to modify to body weight, do it, okay? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, watch me, Jeremy. If you don't know how to do it, if you know how to do it, no need to watch it. Looking out at a 45 degree angle out in front of you, which should let you save the most amount uh, control movement, the most amount of talent. Good. Back is nice and flat, guys. Your back leg comes out and extends behind your body. Ice. Switching sides. 30 seconds to go. Here we go, Lisa Weiner. Incredible Sam Harris with her kettlebell. Everybody with their single weights. Looking really good, guys. Thank you guys so much for stealing all of our equipment, by the way. <laughs> it would have been a lot easier to move, eh, Jenny, if uh, everybody stole the equipment before we locked in. Tight. Awesome, guys. Go back to your single chest round burpee. Four little mini hops. Coming your way. Let's keep pressing it there, proactive. Time. 
All right, guys, chassis round burpee. Hopping feet up, feet shoulder width apart. As soon as you land, four little mini hops. Come on. What's that starter's name? Oh, yeah. Oh, is there any? Just like, Got it, Catherine. Come on, look how fast Catherine is. Ain't that? Woo -hoo. She's going. That's it, guys. We got a 30 second push here. Last burpees of the day, I promise. I cross my heart, guys. Crossing it. I promise. Scouts honor, okay? If anybody saw the photo on Facebook, you would know. That means a lot to me, okay? Scouts honor. Okay? 10 seconds, guys. Get them on. Five seconds. Who's got one more? Go, Captain. Last one. Woo! What a finish, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your final superset of the day before we get into our finisher, okay? Final superset. Everybody, you're going to need one. Ooh, sorry, guys. <laughs> There you go. Guys, thumbs up or thumbs down? Can you guys hear the timer? No. Okay. Oh, some, some people can hear the timer. Interesting. I guess it depends on how good your audio is at home. Obviously, this mic is picking up a little bit of the, uh, the timer. Okay, guys. Weighted shots paired with your sumo squat pack raises. I recommend a light to medium single dumbbell. Grip onto the dumbbell right in the middle. Deep squat position. Nobody is throwing out their low backs here today. Start slow and progressively get faster and slam harder. As you raise the dumbbell up above the head, you're thinking about crunching down your core, sending the hips back, and chopping rapidly. You want to come to a dead stop. If you're not coming to a dead stop and you decide to follow through, that's when you get a low back injury. Don't follow through. Come to a dead stop. <laughs> Big power. <laughs> Big shot. Sorry about all that heavy rhythm in your ears, guys. Next move, sumo squat into calf raise. You can use that same single medium weight or your heavier, larger weight. Toes are going to help. Legs are wide and shoulder width apart. Deep, slow squat. As you come up, don't stand up on the weight. Instead, come up on the balls of your feet. Deep, slow sumo squat, come up on the balls of your feet. Big cap raise. Okay, here we go, guys. Weighted shots. I recommend beginners maybe a 10, 15 at the most. Okay, advanced members, probably 20 pounds at the most. Here we go, guys. In five, in four, in three, two, one timer is on. Let's get it, guys. Weighted shots, single dumbbell, coming to a dead stop, using your biceps, your shoulders, your core, and yes, of course, your quads, roots of the hands, to slow down that work. Very good. Based on Dawn's fireplace behind her at home, I'm sure she's done this a hundred times, chopping wood out in the backyard. Come on, chopping it hard. Let's go, guys. Good, come to a dead stop. Hard as you guys can smash with proper form. If you're feeling this in the low back, slow down and chop and don't go as low. If this is all poor legs and arms for you, chop it hard, guys. Awesome. Jerry's modifying here. Couple little breath reps. Amazing, God. Head and chest stay up. Look up as you slam. Hands go right in between the legs. Five seconds. That's a journey. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're going to our sumo squat into a calf raise. Sumo squat into a calf raise. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Time is up on the clock. Wide stance. Not standing up all the way. Knees are maintaining a fixed bent position as we come up on the balls of our feet. Very nice. As soon as our heels make contact back to the floor, that's when we're going to sink our hips down a few inches more. Looking good. Looking really strong, Jared. Controlling the exercise, guys. All about that body awareness. This is a home stretch here that's more proactive. 
Keep her going. Home stretch here. Let's see it. <clears throat> 20 seconds left on the clock there, team. Breathe in there, Jenny B. Good weight selection, guys. Almost there, Mel. Good in. Way up on your tippy toes. How high can you go on your tippy toes, guys? Excellent, Jeremy. Guys, we've got a good chunk of time off here. I'm going to give you guys a little bit more time to breathe. We are going to go into our weighted chops and then back to our sumo squat calf raises. And that will conclude our workout. Plus, we got a little finisher at the end. Christina was like, waiting for that. But I thought there was a finisher she was thinking. What happened with the finisher? Oh, it's coming. It is coming. 10 seconds, guys. Little, little breaths. Let's get started here. Back to our chops. Don't just chop aimlessly. Make sure you've got that full contraction happening. Good, Jeremy. Jeremy's using a 20 pound dumbbell here. Really smooth. Looking really good, guys. Let those arms take your body into a perfect squat. Yes. Got a weighted choppers out. There goes Vicky. Vicky, I think we'd be using Aria for this exercise, your little girl. <laughs> Just try not to give her concussion. <laughs> Amazing, guys. Go, Greg. Come on, slam it, guys. Uh, we got woo, 10 seconds left there. Hold it at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. This guy is awesome. Last round of your sumo squats here. We have a little bit of freezing. I'm sure you guys will be back in a moment. Oh yeah, everybody's back. Can you guys see us okay? We will be back on. All right, here we go. Jeremy Perkins with his sumo squat. Calf raise. 10 seconds, guys. Everybody ready? Final sumo squats of the day. In five, in four, three, two, one. Take your time. Deep, slow sumo squat, pressing those knees out. Still thinking about scrubbing outwards on the floor. Scrubbing. Coming on up. Balls are feet. Working those calves. All about control. Okay? Relax that low back. Your legs are doing the work there, Blackman. <sighs> Incredible, Jeremy. 30 seconds to go, guys. Almost there, Jeremy. Almost there, buddy. 18 seconds there, proactive. Right to the end. This is going to earn your next water break right here. Remember, get a good chunk of time off. session. We've got a four minute finisher. We've got four moves. Two repetitions per move. Then four repetitions per move. Then six, then eight, then ten, and so on and so forth. Increasing our reps by two each time. This is a ladder finisher. I'm going to be demonstrating the movement so you can compete with Jeremy as he's going to work really hard to wrap up today. Lunges. One per side. Skaters. One per side. Two total. Tuck jumps. Two total. Last but not least, single leg kipping hops. Two per side. 
Hinge in, drive. One, two, switch legs. It's like a sprinter without touching your back leg to the floor. Only one leg is allowed to touch the ground per side. Stand out loud, guys. Lunges, skaters, tuck jumps, kipping hops. Two reps, two lunges. Two skaters, two tuck jumps, two kipping hops per leg. And then four of everything. And then six of everything. Then eight, then ten, then twelve. Good luck, guys. Four minutes up on the clock here, guys. Final push of your class. Here we go. Lunges in five, in four, in three, two, one. Game on. Two lunges, one per side. Skaters, you guys. Two skaters, two tuck jumps here. Here we go. Kipping hops, single leg. Remember, kipping hops per side, two per side. Back to your lunges. We're gonna go four lunges total, four skaters total, four tuck jumps, and four kipping jumps per leg. Thank you, Marlon. Back to lunges for six. Back to skaters for six. Back to tuck jumps for six. You're guessing it right, guys, yes. A lot of us are on six now. I want everybody to post their score on Zoom after this. I want to know what you guys got. Nice. Keep track of your reps. Be honest. Work on proper, crisp form there, proactive. So we have three minutes to go, guys. Come on. Gentle tuck jumps, guys. I can't hear your landings. If I was right beside you, I wouldn't want to hear your landings either. Yes. Way to go, Awesome Brock. I'd said Sam Harris, deep 99 in degree lunges. Very good, Jeremy's on one. He's on two. Keep going, guys, keep pushing. Keep counting up those reps. We're gonna see how many reps we can build up to in the time allowed. Great form, man. Keeping those legs at a 99 degree bend, guys. Always more weight in our front leg while we are lunging. Skaters, tuck jumps, kipping hops, killing it. Keep track of your score. We're trying to push each other, guys. Try to keep up with Jeremy if you can. This is the final push. Lay it soft, man. You got it. There it is, Lee. Leanne, come on. And we got Vicky. Yes. All the way to the end, Sam. Over the halfway point here, Jamie. All right, proactive. Final push of your session. One minute, 30 seconds left on that clock. Lunges, skaters, tuck jumps, kipping hops. Lunges, skaters, tuck jumps, kipping hops. Keep track of your reps. I want to know what you guys finish with. We're pushing each other. We're digging in here, guys. We're going to make the absolute most of our workouts here during the next 28 days. While other people around the world choose to sit on a couch, we are up off that couch, doubling down on our fitness and health. 50 seconds, I promise this is your last few exercises of the day. Final 40 seconds left of your class time. <laughs> go Lisa, go Christina, go Sarah Brennan. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys make me so happy. Thank you guys all so much for joining us here this morning. 25 seconds left on the time timer there. Lisa Carl. I hope you guys are okay. Hang in, hang in. 15 more seconds there, guys. Jerry still got an excellent form. Final 10 seconds, come on. This is where the results really come down to your last few reps. Finish it. Round of applause for acting. I want everybody to comment in the Zoom comments. How many reps did you finish off with? 
So whether you got, let's say as an example, six lunges, six gators, six tuck jumps, but you didn't finish the kipping hops, you would put four. I want to see what everybody finished. And finished 10 of everything. Wow. Lisa Carl with my 10. Woo! Sorry, you can unmute everybody, please. Give me some feedback, guys. Turn on your mics. Ten. Turn on your mics there, guys. Still hit you, Go to... Oh, my. I hate pictures. Like a lot. <laughs> Uh, no dancing though. I don't think there's dancing. <laughs> Why not? I'm sorry. How do you come once for Charlotte? 